I haven't talked about Baron Davis yet, but I'm very happy to because I love what he brings to the game. Baron is a bigger guard. He's an okay playmaker and passer. Probably a below average score. I think true shooting added. He's a negative guy, but he could really attack the basket well, and he's a strong defender. Like, he's a guy that's 6'3 without shoes on and strong for that size. Like, I remember the 07 playoffs where Dirk's trying to back him down, and he's a brick wall. He couldn't be moved. But before we get to that Warrior stuff, I just want to walk through Baron Davis's career, because he gets to Charlotte after the Alonzo morning years. They've got this weird collection of players, a lot of guys that kind of were good or would be good. Well, you've got guys from Brad Miller to Dale Ellis. Just what is this collection of players? But in that second year with the team, they kind of figure it out. It's him, David Wesley, and Jamal Mashburn. And the 2001 playoff run is really interesting because the Eastern Conference second round and the Eastern Conference finals, all those series, all three of the series go to game seven. So really anyone could have represented the East. Philadelphia just comes out on top. The Hornets are up 3-2 over the Milwaukee Bucks, and then Jamal Mashburn just completely falls apart. Baron Davis delivers a great Game 7, but the team as a whole is kind of built more around Mashburn in this time, and they, they lose. In 2002, Baron Davis once again delivers an awesome playoff series in the first round, a little bit of a decline in the second round, 0-3 is not that interesting, and 0-4, they push the Heat to 7 games. And Baron Davis gets injured, I forget if it's the end of Game 6 or the start of Game 7, but he's just a non-factor in that Game 7. So he actually starts off his career with a fair amount of playoff success, a lot more than I think we typically remember. Then in 05, he gets traded to Golden State, and Golden State has not made the playoffs since 94. The decade before he arrives is the Danielle Marshall, Antoine Jameson, Eric Dampier teams. And while Davis' per-game numbers are really good, something important to look at, 05 to 07, where he could have been an all-star, he's missing a fair number of games. He plays more than 55 games just for once. And that brings us to the 07 year, where the madman Donnie Nelson went super small ball, knocks off the number one seed Dallas Mavericks with MVP Dirk Nowitzki. They're switching everything. Davis leads the team in points, assists, is second in rebounds, tied for second in blocks. He is everywhere that series. And while the Warriors as a team are not able to sustain it, Davis is able to have a really good second round. Yes, his scoring drops, and I think that's always been a thing about Davis, that he's not the most efficient scorer. But look at those steals per game. Four plus, that is insane. I don't know that you could ever build a championship team around Baron Davis, just because of the lack of shooting efficiency, but you could certainly have a really fun team with him on it. And if he got to be a second or a third guy to one of the league's like true superstars, that team is probably winning a chip.